Gondolas are the focus of part five of my ongoing series on rail cars. One of the earliest known gondola cars was used by the Baltimore and Ohio in 1830. Overall, apart from the length and sometimes higher sides, the design has changed little over the years. Gondolas are very similar to a flat car as they have a flat bottom, but what makes them unique is the low walls. They tend to be the most abused type of rolling stock as can be witnessed by the dents and wear and tear on cars that you see roll by, likely due to some of the commodities that they haul. Like the flat car, the gondola is able to carry numerous types of cargo, such as steel coils, scrap metal, steel beams, pipe, bulk products such as sand, gravel, and ore concentrate. Unlike the hopper car, the gondola car does not have doors or hatches on the bottom for unloading. They are loaded and unloaded from the top, which can make it a bit awkward or difficult if you're hauling bulk product, such as oars and such, which gives the hopper car the advantage for that product. However, you will see gondolas being used for hauling that commodity. In more recent years, Caps or tarps can be seen on gondolas hauling bulk products such as copper concentrate to prevent loss of material as well as protecting the surrounding environment. The CN Freight seen here was filmed from an overpass with an ideal angle from which you can look down into the gondola cars as they pass by and thus see some of the interesting loads. I believe there's some scrap metal in here some pipe and other commodities, as well as a bunch of empty ones. That concludes my video on gondolas. In the next video in this series, we'll take a look at standard or open hopper cars. Thank you for watching another video in my Railways in a Nutshell series focused on educating people on railway subject matter. If you like this video and are interested in seeing more of this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have suggestions for other railway topics, feel free to send them to me.